right, guys, I just dropped Nipsey off at Petco. The dog is crazy. Anyway, so now I'm on my way to a place called Total Nutrition because I think they do meal plan and meal prep. There's another place in town called Clean Eats, which I want to try, but the food doesn't look that appetizing to me. And it's not unhealthy, but it's not a lot of veggies in their meals. So I'm going to try Total Nutrition and just see like what they have going on with you know what they do and stuff like that or if they even have meal plan meal prepping and get into that how many days a week do you think i should probably work out three okay great perfect three i was gonna say if you just want to do it on your days off yeah, you have enough muscle to. i just need you to be active um, you can still lose weight as long as you have enough muscle on you to do it, and you do. But if you put on more, all you're going to do is love the way you look later on. You know right. what I mean? Because you have all of the curves to show off and do all that. So I think you're just going to love how you feel, love how you look even more. This is like, so, you can't see my smile under here. I know, but I can see it in your eyes. It shows. <laughs> it shows. I'm going to give you this um, because... This is another option, it's chocolate. Um, this is another option that you could throw into your protein shake with because it's greens, it's all of your greens. It's barley, it's wheatgrass, it's lemongrass, it's everything in here in a powdered form and I throw it in with my chocolate shake. Uh -huh. Okay guys, I'm back. I went to the place, the place I went to is called Southern Nutrition. Y'all, the lady was so nice, so informative, so helpful. And she just, I got on this like scale thing, but it's not any kind of scale. It like tells like your BMI, your body mass, your your body fat um your muscle like everything it breaks everything down and she just seems like she knows what she's talking about it was just really great and like she's going to be working with me basically as my nutrition nutritionist nutritionist like i have something called pcos which is polycystic ovary syndrome it involves like your hormones hormone levels are off all that stuff and she has pcos so i thought that just sold me and then she gave me samples of all these protein powders to incorporate into my morning smoothies. Like, she just... <sighs> but she's going to be helping me with, like, my macros, all that good stuff. Y'all, I'm just so excited because it seems, like, promiseful. It seems like finally there's something I can do. Y'all, I'm still waiting to pick Nipsey up from Petco, which is right down there. But I decided to stop by TJ Maxx to waste some time. Honestly, I shouldn't even go in here because I already know I don't need anything. And I already know I'm about to go in here and just waste money. I'm going to go in the Max, see what's popping. Brand new whip just hopped in. Mm, they got options. All right, I'm out of here. I'm not going to bring the camera because it's too many people out. Is today Saturday? Yeah, it's too many people out and people are already staring at me because of this camera. So, but I'll show y'all what I get. Y'all want to see Nipsey? Look, Nipsey, look, 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 look. He's clean. See, Nipsey is really wider than what he is. He just always looked dingy. Nipsey, talk to the people. Okay, guys, I'm back home and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got from TJ Maxx. So I told y'all I was going to go in there spending unnecessary money. None of the stuff I needed. But it was cute stuff. It was some good stuff. And I had to get it. So haul time. First I got this um small, just, just a small little pink little wallet thing. Because my other wallet is pretty big. So just super small and cute coin pouch. Bloop. This was $6, $7. Next I got the Purity Face Wash. Which this is very, very, very popular. It's a 3-in-1 cleanser. And this is like a makeup remover and a face wash. I've always wanted to try this. But it's always been pricey. I'm not, I don't really think I'm going to spend like... $40 for a face wash. I'm not sure if that's me, but I've always wanted this. And then I went and saw the TJ Maxx. It was on sale for $8. So I was like, ooh, let me get it. I also got the First Aid Beauty, um, what is this? Purifying Mask. Everybody knows First Aid Beauty is really good skincare brand. This is how it looks. And this is just a mask with red clay to help minimize the appearance of pores, remove excess sebum and mattify and it's safe for sensitive skin. This was $9.99. Originally, I think this is like $24 in Ulta. Got that or whatever. When I saw this, I was so shook and excited. This is the Marc Jacobs Instantly Impeccable Skin Smoothing Makeup Maximizer Face Primer. This is how it looks. The infamous packaging. Look how nice. The packaging is so nice, darling. 
and oh, oh. so got this guys this was on sale for $15 originally I think this is like 30 something dollars in store so y'all I'll just I love a good deal next I got this bare minerals dewy mist setting spray I needed another setting spray anyways because I was running out of mine and this was $9.99 just a setting spray bare minerals I got this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and they actually had a shade I could use. This is in the color dark. Usually if they do have like more high-end brand makeup, um, it's never in my shade. Like they had this foundation I really wanted to buy by Milk Makeup. It was not in my shade. They had NARS foundation, not in my shade. And this was $6.99. I think originally this is like $18. So good deal on that. Next I got two lip products. This is by Buxom. Um, they're really, you know, infamous for their lip products and stuff. And this is a plumping lip cream. I don't care about the plumping part, but a lot of times it don't even work. So I just like the color. And this is in the color Seychelles or Seychelles. And it's a lip cream. Ooh. This is how it looks, guys. So a very neutral um, tone. If y'all know me, y'all know I like neutral nude makeup. And lastly, y'all, I don't own any products from MAC. Um, but I do now. I have a lipstick called Mole Over. Very neutral. One thing about me, y'all gonna learn on this channel, I do love like makeup, beauty, fashion, but I also, I'm always, always, always trying to stretch my dollar, get a bang from a buck. I'm always, always trying to do that. Been like that forever. Got it from my mama. Been like that. Straight like that. And then also I got, y'all, this is Laura Mercier. Everyone knows um, Laura Mercier's like um, beauty, pro I mean, makeup brand, but I didn't know Laura Mercier had a perfume. I saw this. It was only $12. I Googled it. The original price is $65. This is a perfume. It's called Ooh. Ew, gourmetade. I don't know, but it has notes of amber and vanilla, and it smells really, really, really good. Lately, I've been into perfume. Oh, it smells good. Next, I just got this Mixed Chicks um, Slick Styling Tamer for edges, so like an edge control, and it's by Mixed Chicks. I don't really use edge control ever. I'm more of a gel person. I just use Eco Styler Gel, and that honestly can do the trick for my edges, but sometimes I do want or need an actual edge control, and like I said, it's by Mixed Chicks. This was $4.99. Next, I got just a bonnet, a satin bonnet. Oh, I got this scalp massager, and it says it's lavender infused, but I don't be believing the infused stuff. That's all cap, but um, I got this scalp massager because I always wanted one to help stimulate my scalp. Lastly, I got, y'all, I am a sucker for stationary items. I don't even, I don't even need this, but it was so cute. It's just a little notepad thing, and at the top it says, shine bright, work hard, be kind, keep dreaming. Yes, you can do your thing. Stay focused, keep going, you got this. This is all I have in my room, like tons of quotes like this. This is my kind of thing. If y'all want to get me something ever in life, stationary things, planners, pens, notebooks, but cute things. So, got this. This was only $3. Y'all, I found these Adidas socks. The reason why they're so cute is because they're like the um, crew, crew socks. And um, they have the Adidas logo on them. So, it'll be cute, like sticking out of like some forces or some tennis shoes. So cute. And I got them in pink and pink and purple, purple and white. And these are so cute. Y'all know I had to get some from a dog. Like, Paul socks basically socks for his little bitty paws had to get size extra small probably could have got extra extra small for nipsey's little bitty paws i got him a toy and he can like pick these out and all that nipsey got your toy nipsey y'all look at this other toy that i got for nipsey y'all i had to get this if this was 20 dollars, i still would have bought it but it wasn't it was six it looks like a fritos bag but it's not it has bones on it so cute bone chips fritos dog doggies and it just looks like fritos look at nipsey going crazy look at nipsey Y'all, they had freaking popcorn for dogs. It's a treat, but you put it in a microwave and it's um microwavable cheese puffs for dogs. I also got some tennis shoes. I am about to join this workout class and I have tennis shoes, but not really workout tennis shoes. Um, so I got these. These are some Nikes. I like them because the color attracted me. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul from TJ Maxx. If you did, comment down below what was your favorite item that you got or some good finds that you be finding at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and places like that. And I'll see y'all later.
just left my doctor's appointment got that taken care of but when I was getting ready to check out the lady who was checking me out or whatever we were talking about something some kind of way we got on to like my birthday trip y'all don't know this I'm planning a ski trip to Colorado because I'm turning 25 and I want to do it in a big way yeah and we were just talking she was like who's all coming does everybody get along we was just chopping it up I like her she was cool and she was like oh girl you know y'all should be drinking wine instead of liquor and she was too I said wine well you don't want to drink wine on a birthday trip I was like you drink wine you got to eat let me get a glass of wine she was like no I drink wine every night when I get off work I was like yeah what do you drink wine for when you get off work to relax I said we're not trying to relax we're trying to be lit and she was like oh well so yeah but she was cool anyways um I'm so excited for this birthday trip. I just hope and pray everything goes smoothly. As in like no beef, no drama, no weird energy in the air. That's why I invited people who, oh, it's two people who I'm like questioning. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should have invited them. I want people, I need people like me. Like we fun, we're not like, we, I don't have time for all that crazy stuff. I don't even care about like a little drama. I don't, I don't care. I'm here for the snow, for the fun. I'm here for a good time. I just hope everything goes smooth, perfect. There are no discrepancies. <laughs> Come on, college education. And it's just a wang dang doodle. I'm so excited, okay. But anyways, my birthday is February 2nd on Groundhog Day, also Black History Month, fellow Aquariuses. Shout out, woo woo. So that's a medium iced coffee with caramel and mocha uh, with light sugar? Yes. Hold on now. This don't look right either. Y'all know when y'all get y'all know when y'all coffee orders don't look right. This don't even look right. And then the lady, not the lady who took my order, but the lady making the order, she like she had a little attitude. Girl, don't be mad at me because you make coffee for a living. I'm not shading, trust me. I used to want to work at a coffee shop. I'm just saying at that late age, okay, let me stop. Like, why do you have an attitude? Because you had to come to work. I hate when people do that. It's not like I have no prestige job, child. Trust me. But, like, if I am having a bad day or in a bad mood, I don't go to work and take it out on customers. They just trying to buy something and get what they need. Why do you have an attitude? I hate... Ugh. Let me tell you. Customer service. She got to be glad this iced coffee good. <laughs> So the lady's like, hi, um, I have your dog. What? My dog? She's like, yes, I have Nipsey. Nipsey has like a little ID on him and it has like all the information possible. And she's like, I have your dog. He was in the middle of the street. I was like, is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. She was kind of like in the neighborhood where I live and they, my sister was at home with Nipsey all day. This is why I did not want to ever leave my dog with Dale. Uh uh. So I'm like, how the heck did he get out? And then she's like, there's a lady out here. I just, I, apparently, Danielle was just was out in the streets looking for him. And she was like, there's a lady out here. It looks like she's looking for a dog. I was like, that's probably my sister. She has braids. And then she walks up and tells her, y'all, oh my, I'm gonna kill Danielle. Kill her. Let me call her mama. Oh my. <laughs> if anything happened, y'all, I'm like attached to my dog. So. <sighs> Hello? You will never believe what just happened. I get a call. The lady said, hi, ma'am. Um, I have your dog. I said, what? She said, I have Nipsey right here. He was in the middle of the street. I said, is he okay? She said, yeah, he's super cheerful. I said, what the heck? The dog almost ran into the street and got hit by a car. So she says, I guess Danielle um, was trying to look for him because she said, I see a lady who looks like she's looking for a dog. I said, that's probably my sister. She has braids. And then Danielle walks up and she says she's on the phone with me. Mom, that's why I don't like leaving. Oh! You need to kill you. 
Danielle? I ain't spoke to her yet. I just got the phone with the lady. So the lady did give the dog to Danielle? I thanked the lady a billion times for being a good human being and not stealing the dog. She said, oh yes, he's so cute. Anybody could steal him, but he's too well taken care of. I know he comes from a good family. They could have stole her, stole him. Would have been screwed. I would have been sad, sad, sad. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back home and I, went, I ran into Walmart to grab just a couple of items and I thought I would show you guys. First, I just got some socks and they're kind of ruffled so it'll be cute like sticking out of my tennis shoes or whatever. So in like an oatmeal color, a gray color and then like this cream white color. So got those. I got this as some of us in the black community call it white girl brush but it's really a paddle brush because i'm actually doing my hair this weekend or this week i'm off for three days in a row that hair in my head i don't know if i'm gonna record it or not i think i will though just so like i've been trying to think of like what content i can put on my personal youtube channel that'll be a good video if it turns out cute so anyways you guys be on the lookout for that so and then i also bought some wave caps because i am gonna make that hair into a u-part wig um i got this which is really a waste of money but whatever it's just a hot tool mat so you know when you have flat irons or curling irons and you don't mess up your counter you just put this mat out and sit it on there then i got some vitamin d3 gummies because i went to the doctor and my doctor said my vitamin d levels are at the levels of a 60 year old person and i am only 24 so she told me to take some vitamin d I got this is my favorite gel eco solid olive oil one flushable wipes love these y'all I cannot believe the price of this this is an edge brush first off I usually use a regular old two oats or you know a toothbrush on my edges but I saw this and was like ooh it's cheetah it's four edges let me just grab it this is an edge brush y'all this thing was $12 I couldn't believe it but anyways got that bad angle love those but um, it's actually Wednesday night and for the billionth time, I'm going to attempt to clean my room again. My room is a mess. I really need to clean it, but I wanted to show y'all what I got the other day. This is so cute. I have a billion of like notebooks and planners and journals. It's just what I like to buy and it's pink. This is by the brand Create and Cultivate. I love them. It says notes on notes on notes. It's just a... Uh, um, little notebook thingy but I just thought it was so cute and it matches my vibe so I knew he was coming in somewhere hey guys I wanted to actually today is Saturday hey, I wanted to go ahead and close out this week's vlog if you stay to the end you're cool um and thanks so much for watching this video of course be ready for next week's vlog and also as always check out me and my sister's podcast but yeah today's saturday i'm actually i don't know why but i'm in a good mood but i'm not sure why but it's a blessing um but i'm actually spending this saturday honestly just cleaning up my room because it's really a mess okay busted and disgusted closet everything and i'm also like pulling out my fall clothes from our downstairs closet bringing them up here later tonight i'm supposed to be going one of my friends just got his own place so he invited me over so i'll see i think i'll be going there this is the end of this vlog and i'll see y'all in my next one